Greetings, cyber dogs and citizens of the interwebs. This is Ren Diggity Dog coming at you from deep within the minds of the dog in this Let's Play Minecraft Survival Series. How are you guys doing out there today, man? I am doing real good. Uh, thank you for asking. It is Saturday morning for the Ren Diggity Dog, and I gotta tell you something, my friends. I am in the mood for some Minecraft. Oh man, I'm gonna be playing this beautiful game all day long. I literally have just crawled out of the bath about 15 minutes ago. My hair's still wet. I'm still got a freaking towel on, but I am ready to play some Minecraft. Oh, I cannot delay anymore, man. I didn't even want to get dressed. I just just wanted to get straight to my computer and start playing some Minecraft because today guys we are doing some really cool jazz I'm super excited man last episode we set up a really cool looking roof for our mine over here and uh, yeah thanks for all of the feedback lots of you guys loving the roof uh, I want to make a couple of tweaks to it though I was having a look at it after I recorded last time and there was just something slightly off about it and I figured it out I'm going to show you guys um, what I'm going to do just to fix up the roof just a little bit but guys today I'm um, main focus for this episode is going to be trying to figure out a way to deliver all of the items in our mine all the way back to the surface okay we're going to be mining a bunch of resources down here right i've just made like another main tunnel over here we're going to make this look really cool we're going to make this look like a mine and uh, we're going to be having these sort of side tunnels and this is where we're going to be doing the majority of our mining right we're just going to be branch mining in all of these different directions trying to find as many resources of, as possible inside of this mine uh, but if we get all of these resources all these hundreds of blocks of cobblestone and iron and whatever else we find down here we need to find a way to send all of that jazz back to the surface of the molehole so that we can actually use it to create stuff right we've got a little bit of a railway line running over here and what we could do is run this well railway line all the way up through the cave and then all the way out to the entrance but I want to try figure out maybe something a little bit more interesting. Maybe something a little bit more technical, actually. We found some redstone, which is sweet. And I'm, I'm kind of thinking about a little small redstone contraption that we could use to send all of the items that we get in this mine to the surface of the molehole. So that's what we're going to be focusing on today. But there's something kind of interesting that I want to try out with you guys to kick things off today. Uh, this is what we made last time together. Looking great, right? Can you guys spot the improvement that I've made to this side of the room? I wonder if you can. I'm going to show you in a second. We better sleep the night away though because it's getting a little bit precarious out here. What's up Minna Moo? What's cracking? Hey, a big shout out to all of the South Africans in the previous episode who recognized the Mina Moo reference. <laughs> Nice to know that there's some people out there that remember that crazy cow cartoon. Oh, man. I just love the fact that there's South Africans watching this series. Now, in my first series, there weren't many South Africans watching. But now, loads of South Africans from my home country are watching. A big shout out to you guys. Hope you guys are doing lacquer today. But, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> anyway, take a look at this roof. Let's actually start with the roof. Hello, skeleton. Oh, you found yourself a little bit of a, a place to hide there. Nice work. Get wrecked. <laughs> Let's start with the roof over here. Now, last time I made this roof, um, I tried to make it look like there was a dip in the roof, right? And I did succeed with that, but I don't know. There was just something about the roof that was throwing me off. Let's go to this side of the roof and have a look at this. And what I realized is that we've got way too much flatness on the side of the roof. And um, what I've done on this side is actually kind of interesting. I've added some stairs in here. You guys can see the stairs over here, right? And last time I showed you the method of making the this roof right and the way that we did this was by setting up this very front section over here right we had like a pillar up here and then we had a stair and a solid block and what we were doing was using slabs to follow those uh, follow the stair right so that the stair started here and then we sort of followed it with some slabbage now take a look at this if instead of following that stair line with slabbage we follow the stair line with stairs instead we add a bunch more texture into the roof and actually we add a little bit of depth into it too and we kind to get rid of this really super janky looking flat section see so instead of those slabs over here i'm going to be adding stairs maybe i should put my my axe in that hand over there okay so there we go let's get some of the spruce wood stairs over here and uh, this just i think helps to add another sort of layer into the uh, the roof like this right you see there's like a, another little section over here and i don't know i just think that takes the roof to the next level i just think it, it sort of adds a certain a je ne sais quoi into the roof design 
<laughs> I don't even know what that word means. I've been saying it for years and I don't even know what it means, man. Uh, but anyway, oh, jeez, freaking stairs again. Are we going to have a problem here, stairs? I think so. Uh, okay, let's just do this the good old-fashioned way with a little bit of cobblestone. Look at that. That's way better, right? Love it, love it. Okay, so, beautiful. Little improvement to the roof. Absolutely glorious. Now, something that I want to try out with you guys today is kind of interesting. I thought about this when I woke up this morning, and uh, I, was, I was trying to figure out what I was going to do today in today's episode, and I, what I wanted to do was try and improve our little mining section over here a little bit. Just try and make it look a little bit more beautiful, right? And I had this really sweet idea when I was in the bath. I was like, let's get some, let's get some plants down there, right? Let's get some grass and stuff in side of our mine. The thing can be in that the miners that have been coming in and out of the mine, they have been walking through a grassland up here, right? They come and get all their stuff. They spend the day mining. Then they come up here. They work, walk through some of this grass. They get seeds and stuff on their clothes and they go back down into the mine and they bring those seeds with them, right? And over time, uh, you know, bits of dirt and bits of ground are also brought into the mine. And over time, uh, stuff starts to grow down there, right? Plants and weeds and uh, moss and algae and all of that sort of thing and I kind of want to get that look into the mine and what I would like to do is all the way at the bottom of the mine where we're probably going to be spending most of the uh, episode working today I want to have like a little a little cave garden <laughs> I suppose that's one way to put it, man. I want to get like a water source down there. I want to get some like really, really cool like plants growing down there. So maybe some vineage. Uh, eventually, if we can find ourselves a jungle and get ourselves some vines, that could be pretty sweet, right? And all the way down here, I want to have little bits of grass, little bits of, of like flowers and foliage and, and maybe even, it doesn't have to be flowers. I guess flowers aren't going to grow down in a mine, but definitely sort of some grass area, which I'm going to call moss, right? Like cave moss. And uh, down here, I want to have like a nice little section here of green. Now, how are we going to get all of that green down into here? Because, well, we can't actually pick up grass blocks in Minecraft, right? If we had a Silk Touch enchanted book, we'd be able to put Silk Touch on a shovel and pick up one of these grass blocks. But we don't have Silk, silk Touch yet. So, we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. <laughs> I've made a line of dirt all the way from the surface, all the way down to the bottom of the mine. And basically what's going to happen is this this grass block is going to grow into this dirt block and all of these dirt blocks are eventually going to become grass blocks over time and that grass is going to grow there you see it just happened there nice that's going to grow all the way down into the bottom of the mine and uh, then we can sort of branch off in different directions over here say if we wanted to add some some green over here, right? Uh, we could do a little bit of branching like this. Um, <laughs> and yeah, we could get a whole bunch of grass to grow all the way down to the bottom. It's going to take a really long time for this to happen. So I think I'm probably just going to, you know, go and put some clothes on and let all of this jazz grow. I'll see you guys back in a second. I am such an idiot. Cyber dogs, it's moments like this that really make me question my existence. Here I am on a Saturday morning watching grass grow in Minecraft. Is this what my life has become? <laughs> oh my goodness, man. This grass has taken so much longer to grow than I thought it was going to, guys. It's been about an hour or so since I was last with you, and we've only done about 10 blocks of grass so far which means it's probably going to take a good 10-15 hours for this grass to get to the bottom of the cave. Nice. Well, at least we got something to look forward to over the coming episodes. I haven't been idle though, guys. I have been busy working on the mine of the dog entrance here. Isn't it looking amazing? I've added a couple more rock formations, some more foliage, and I've grown a couple more oak, uh, dark oak wood trees around the place too. Look at this one. Looks so beautiful at the back there. Oh, I love that. And uh, yeah, the place is looking sweet, man. I've been getting super inspired by this too. I've been uh, working on, a, well, coming up with a final design for this particular kingdom, the Mole Hole Kingdom, I suppose. And I think I mentioned this a little bit earlier on in the series, but I'm starting to get a really big Lord of the Rings Shire type feeling from this build that we're working on over here, guys. A lot of you guys out there have been saying that too. You've been saying, Ren, the Mole Hole is starting to remind me of the Shire. You should make some Hobbit holes around the place. And you know what? That sounds like a really amazing idea to me. Lord of the Rings is one of my favorite fantasy worlds in the world, in fact. And um, I absolutely love everything about Lord of the Rings. I'm a big fan of the Shire. I think it's an absolutely beautiful place. Uh, and it was done really well in the movies too. And the more that I work on this particular build 
over here, the more that I'm getting the Shire vibes. You know what I'm saying? So maybe this kingdom that we're working on, maybe we can make this look very much like the Shire, right? We're nice and natural. Everything is going to be sort of uh, beautifully natural. We're going to have lots of rolling hills. We're going to have these paths that are going to be running through all of these different uh, natural buildings. Maybe when we work on some new stuff, like an enchanting room or a nether portal chamber of, or a temple or, or something like that, we can try to keep it in the design of the Shire, right? Nice and, and natural within mountains. Maybe the passageways can be uh, very much like the hobbit holes, right? Where we have these really cool rounded passageways throughout throughout all of our, uh, our buildings and stuff. That could be really, really sweet. I'm starting to feel that, man. Getting super inspired by this. Uh, but yeah, I've been working really hard on this. I've also been working a little bit on a lamppost design. One of you guys uh, mentioned, why don't you get some lampposts along the, the along your road in the previous episode? I think that's a great idea. And these lampposts look pretty cool, right? They're super simple to make too. I'm going to need myself a couple of resources for this though. Uh, a couple more of these stone fences like this and probably, a yeah, I'm going to need some more chiseled stone too. So let's just make a couple of chiseled stone bricks here out of, out of stone slams. There we go. And I can show you guys how I did this. Really, really simple, man. Look at that. Looks beautiful, doesn't it? Let's add another one just outside Minamu's pen over here. I like that they sort of crisscross the road like this, right? So maybe we get another one like uh, over here just on the side of the road and really simple to make man just a bit of chiseled stone i love how the chiseled stone like goes around the stone fence i think that looks really cool and then we'll have our wooden fences like this um to finish off the uh the design and uh, we just do a couple of spruce and then we go with an oak like this um and then get it up like a so and then we can get our torch at the top there. Just a, a little bit more interesting way to get light into our area, right? Rather than just like plonking torches on the ground like this. Um, I think that looks really sweet. Now, uh, someone last episode also gave me a really cool idea. One of you guys gave me an idea about naming our roads, right? How cool would that be? So this road over here could be named, I don't know, like the Dark Oakwood Lane or something like that. And I want to get some inspiration from you guys, okay? I want you guys to choose a name for this very first road here at the Mole Hole Kingdom. What, are, what can we name this road? Hit me up in the comment section below. I'm going to choose my favorite name for this road and the next episode we'll set up like a road sign or something over here uh, to actually name this mine that takes us from the Mole Hole into the Mines of the Dog. Uh, but yeah, looking pretty awesome, right? I'm loving the way this area is turning out. Absolutely beautiful. Now, while we're waiting for this grass to grow, guys, let's move on to, well, the main focus for today's episode which is going to be to try and find a way to get items from the bottom of our mine all the way up to the surface of Minecraft over here so that we can start using those items to create our Shire-inspired molehole kingdom over here, right? And, uh, well, I got a little bit of inspiration in the bath this morning, as I mentioned, and this is going to be a really cool project that we're going to focus on for the next couple of episodes. I've already set up a little bit of infrastructure down here, and I want to try explain to you guys my thinking. Down at the bottom of this mine, Mineshaft, we've got all of those strip mines that I showed you earlier where we're going to be collecting resources. We're then going to be sending those resources up this this mine shaft or up this rail shaft rather all the way up into the, this chamber which is going to be the sort of intermediary collection chamber. Now we need to find a way to get those items from here to the surface and what we could do is run another sort of railway line all the way up the cave here. But I don't know, man. I think that's going to look super janky. You know, that railway line's going to run all the way up here zigzagging and stuff. And it's going to be kind of annoying. I want to try find a more interesting way to do this, right? Set up a little something something over here. And uh, this is what we're going to be focusing on over the next couple of episodes. And this is going to be a little bit of a technical build. Our very first redstone technical build in the series uh, that isn't sort of rail carts, right? And don't worry, it's not going to be super complicated, okay? It's actually going to be really, really simple redstone. Uh, we're not going to be doing the redstone today, though. <laughs> and that's because we're going to have to go to the nether <laughs> to finish off this project, guys. We're going to need something called a comparator. And to make a comparator, we need nether quartz, which is found in the nether. And 
that is going to be an adventure for another day. <laughs> Today, we're just going to focus on setting up the infrastructure for this. Here's what I'm thinking. Instead of sending those items via a rail cart up the cave system, why don't we send those items via a water aqueduct system, right? I've, I've got a couple of water sources over here. And if we set some water like this, take a look at what happens to items when we throw it in flowing water. The item actually travels along that water. And uh, the water source will end, I believe, after seven blocks. I think uh, the water will flow and that means we need to add another water source down here and we can see that that block is going to carry on flowing all the way down to this section. Now if we created an aqueduct that went all the way along here to a point that would take us to the surface um, of our world right to the molehole surface we, we are then able to create a system using redstone that is going to send the items up to the surface and we're probably going to work on that in the next episode but for today I want to work on the infrastructure over here, right? So let's collect these water sources and get up to the surface and try and figure out exactly where we are going to be sending these resources um, eventually up an item elevator, which is basically what we're going to be creating, right? So that's the plan. We're going to be sending our items down this passageway and then up an item elevator to the surface. And I also want to find a way to automatically spit the items out into this water source. I don't want to have to do this manually. I don't want to stand here and throw blocks in here right I want it to all be automated and uh, yeah that's going to be some redstone awesomeness that I'm looking forward to uh, trying to set up but for now let's head back to the surface and try and figure out exactly where we would want to send these items I guess we're going to be sending them into some sort of a structure some sort of a building up here where we are going to be collecting the items maybe we can start working on our very first storage facility up here right we need to have like a massive I don't know like a massive of building a warehouse of some kind that is going to be storing all of those items and that warehouse is going to be collecting all of the items from up there. And having a look around our area over here, we've got like a nice big open area over here, right? This to me feels like an interesting place to have some sort of a giant warehouse. Look at this. We've got a lot of open area to work with over here. And maybe what we could do is create like an artificial mountain. Because if we want everything to look like the Shire and we want to live inside of moleholes, right? Everything inside of a molehole. Maybe we'll make like a big molehole warehouse over here. Um, now, let's try to figure out exactly what where that aqueduct is going to be. We're not allowed to use F3 in this series, so we got to do this in a completely natural way, right? And I'm thinking maybe, hmm, maybe what we should do actually, uh, I've got an idea. Let's head back down to the bottom of the mine shaft. We're going to dig ourselves all the way up to try and figure out exactly where this aqueduct is, and uh, then we can sort of align ourselves to where we want the warehouse to be, right? So if we come back down here, this is going to be the start of the warehouse. Uh, we're going to have to dig all the way up to the surface or the warehouse. I mean the aqueducts, right? We're going to have to dig all the way up here. Now this is going to be a little bit of a risky thing to do, of course, because we don't know what is above us right now. If there is any lava up here, well, we're probably going to die. We're pretty close to the surface though, so I don't think we're going to run into lava. Uh, famous last words perhaps, but yeah, we're going to dig ourselves all the way up to the surface so that we can get an idea of where we are and then we can start aligning that aqueduct to the position of the warehouse which is we're going to be setting up progress baby that's what i'm talking about i'm pretty sure this is going to be deep enough guys i've gone all the way down un until i heard some lava bubbling away and then i stopped because well lo lava and rain dog equals death uh, so i've pillared myself all the way back up to the surface let's get down to the aqueduct and actually see if we can connect up to that uh to that shaft over there i'm kind of running out of pickaxe action over here might have to start using 10 uh, I've been using a lot of iron pickaxes because I don't want to wear down the durability of Terra too quickly uh, before I can get uh, some repair work or at least some enchantments onto Terra, right? Uh, but yeah, let's start digging out this aqueduct. Now we need to go, I believe it's seven blocks um, each time before the water runs out of my momentum, right? And all we need to do now, if we've aligned everything correctly, is just start digging in this direction. And actually, we've just dug into a cave network, which is not exactly great news hello skeleton what's happening dude what's happening i don't have any armor and there's a spider too so yeah great work right hi skeleton dude come at me bro come at me there you are okay yep 
Yep, you and me. Let's run a little bit. There we go. Okay, nice. Nice. Okay, so there's a little bit of cave action down here. Not too bad, though. Let's just get everything lit up. We might have to explore this at some point, too, because uh, there might be some really sweet resources for us over here. Um, but yeah, let's get our second water source over here, just so that we can figure out exactly where the water needs to go. Looks like it needs to go a couple of blocks to this position. Okay, sweet. So, we're making progress. I'm hoping that uh, that shaft is really, really close here now, right? And let's just make sure that this is an actual aqueduct, uh, like a so. And I suppose we need to pick up this water source again um, so that we can make another aqueduct over here, right? So let's pick that up. Make sure that we got some light here too, though. Don't want to be spawning too many of those skeletons. And I'm hoping that we bust into that shaft here at some point. Um, shaft? Where you at, man? Nor she blows me, mate. I've just busted into the shaft. Amazing. And yeah, I definitely dug way too deep. I probably need to fill this hole in, actually, because things are going to spawn down there. But yeah, our aqueduct is now connected up to the shaft, so I got my measurements absolutely perfect. Nice. Can I drop down there without dying? I hope so. Oh, jeez. Okay. That was probably a bad idea. Just broke a whole bunch of my bones over there. But that's okay. Let's just fill this in, right? And that is amazing. Okay, so our aqueducts are now connected. What we need to do now, of course, is fill all of this with water, or at least fill up these aqueducts with water. And that way, we're going to be able to send items all the way to that position over here. And then we can find a way to send those items up to the top. Oh, baby, this is turning out really cool. I'm loving this project, man. That actually looks really cool, doesn't it, guys? This water flowing all the way down to the end of this canal and the good news is it works perfectly look at this man that block of cobblestone is just going to travel all the way down uh, this sort of stream until it gets to the end and then we can find a way to get the items from the end of the canal to the surface but to do that man we're going to have to go to the nether and let me tell you something guys I'm not in the mood to go to the nether today it is Saturday and that means it is chill out day for the rain dog I've got a theory in life about Saturdays Okay, on a Saturday, you should spend as much of your Saturday as possible in your pajamas. I'm in my pajamas right now, and I shall be in my pajamas for the majority of the day until I have to go outside to get some food, and then I'm going to have to actually get dressed. Or you know what? I might even just go to the shop in my pajamas. You know what I'm saying? I'm a real-life hermit. Who's to judge me? I don't really mind. The people in this town already think I'm really crazy, so it's okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is beautiful, man. This is beautiful. All of those items are going to flow down to the bottom and yeah when we find a way to actually deliver the items automatically into this thing uh, that's going to make it awesome man i really love the, the way this looks too i don't know though i think we probably need to make uh, this whole thing look a little bit better um even though we're never going to actually see this canal i kind of feel in minecraft if you make anything you should try and at least make it a little bit good looking you know i mean why not right why not i mean we could probably turn this entire passageway or this entire aqueduct into maybe like a sewer canal of some kind just make it look a little bit better right i don't know maybe we can even start working on it at the very top here uh let, let me see if i can figure something out over here i'm thinking maybe we can just use some stairs just to make like a very simple looking sewer canal of some kind so i mean even if we just did it really really simply oh man i just used up all of my cobblestone Let's just collect some more over here. Also completely out of iron pickaxes now, now so R.I.P. Terra, man. Get an absolutely wrecked. Uh, but check it out. Even if we just did something really, really simple like this, right? Uh, hang on. Freaking stairs. Um, there we go. Like on that side and then one on this side. Even if it just looks a little bit like that, right? That could look pretty cool. I mean, we could even go a little bit further and try make this passageway almost look rounded like a sewer, I suppose. Take a look at this, man. We could potentially do something like this, right? Um, yeah, or maybe even just like one block closer, perhaps. Actually, we could do this quite nicely, right? Take, take a look at this, man. If we put some stairs like this, hang on, <laughs> some stairs like this, got rid of all of this jazz, and maybe then put some stairs at the bottom like this. That's going to let the water flow, right? Let's just have a look. Let's just do a little bit of testing over here. I've just been inspired. A little, a little bit of inspiration has just hit me to try and make this, this little aqueduct look a little bit better, right? If we had some stairs like so, and we could probably mix these stairs up too just a little bit. If we unleash the water, that water will flow there, right? Yeah. You see what I'm talking about? So we could actually make this look a little bit better instead of just being this sort of janky tunnel that goes through all 
all of the rocks and stuff, we can actually make it look a little bit more like, well, some sort of functioning thing. The thing can be, and of course, that the miners would have actually created this, right? When they came down here to make the mine. Um, but yeah, that's awesome. The infrastructure is working. Let's go take one final look at the progress of our grass growing. <laughs> I don't know if it's actually made any more progress whatsoever. Has it even come down the first step? Doesn't look like it. It's, well, it's made one more block of progress. So that's, that's good. Well, guys, that's about going to do it from me here in Minecraft Survival. I've had a fantabulous day playing Minecraft today on this Saturday. Hope you guys have enjoyed the episode, man. Remember to hit the like button if you've enjoyed it, okay? Helps me out a lot. Shows me you guys are enjoying the series. Keeps me inspired and motivated. And I'm really looking forward to reading some of your guys' ideas for a name for our very first road here at the Molehole Kingdom. Thanks for watching, guys. Ren Diggity Dog signing up from Minecraft Survival. And we will smell you all in the next episode.